So have you ever come home from a long plane ride only to open your suitcase to find your shampoo and, and toothpaste explode all over your clothes? That's happened to me a few times and I kind of wanted to know why. And the reason is, is due to Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law was discovered by Robert Boyle, coincidentally, um, in the 1600s. He was in Ireland. He did some chemistry back then. And he discovered that the volume of a given amount of gas held at a constant temperature varies inversely with the pressure. All right, so what does that mean? Let's look at this picture and uh, this actually helped us describe that. All right, so let's say I have a canister of gas, uh, 10 liters of gas inside, and I have a pressure of one atmosphere on there. If I multiply, uh, if I take my constant, multiply pressure times the volume, I find that, the, that it, we have a constant of 10 atmosphere liters. Okay, fair enough. Let's say I push down on that canister. I push down on it with twice as much pressure, so now my pressure is two atmospheres. What's gonna happen to the volume? Well, you guessed it, it's gonna half. So the, there is a relationship between the uh, pressure and the volume of the container, as long as the temperature is constant. So if we were to multiply these, we get the same thing as we did before, 10 atmosphere liters. So notice that P1, V1 equals P2, V2. These two guys are the same. Great, okay, so let's go over here. Uh, the relationship between the pressure and volume, what is that? Well, we noticed that as pressure goes up, so does uh, the volume goes down. They have an inverse relationship to each other. And also, if pressure goes down, volume will then go up. They're, um, they're completely inverse of each other. So how do we graph that? Well, if we have uh, volume on the y-axis and pressure on the x-axis, it will have a graph, and we were to graph all of our points, it would have a graph that looks similar to this. Notice that, there, uh, that um, this will never reach, the volume will never reach zero, and the pressure will never reach zero. That is because you'll never have a volume that's nothing, and you'll never have a pressure that's nothing. So we can have a curved graph that looks similar to this. Um, notice it's also a negative slope because our relationship is inverse. All right, if we were to mathematically look at Boyle's Law, we, let's reiterate the fact that pressure one times volume one equals the pressure two times volume two, as we demonstrated earlier. That's our mathematical relationship. Okay, so let's actually put this into practice. Let's say we have a sample of neon gas that occupies 0.22 liters at 0.86 atmospheres. What will be its new volume at 29.2 kilopascals? Well, this first thing you should notice is that we're, when we're dealing with pressure, we wanna make sure the pressure is always in the same unit. In this case, pressure is in atmospheres, in the, first, in the first scenario, and the second one is in kilopascals. I don't like that, so I'm gonna put them in the same unit. I'm, I'm gonna just randomly choose um, atmospheres. It doesn't matter if you choose atmospheres or kilopascals, it'll give you the same answer. But I like atmospheres. So I know that one atmosphere equals 101.3 kilopascals. Okay? Um, so I'm gonna change 29.2 kilopascals to atmospheres. So I know that 101.3 kilopascals equals one atmosphere. So 29.2 divided by uh, 101.3 gives me 0.288 atmospheres. Okay, so let's start out with this. So instead of using this number, I'm gonna use this number. So sample of neon gas occupies, this is my V1, and this is my, P, my P1. So 0 0.860 atmospheres times uh, 0 0.220 liters equals, uh, we want our new volume, um, and our, new pr our second pressure is 0.288 atmospheres, and we don't know our new volume, that's what we're looking for. Now before we even solve this, should we, let's predict what our volume should be. Uh, our, our atmosphere actually goes from 0.8 down to 0.2 or 0.3, so it drops. So our what's gonna happen to our volume? Our volume should increase according to our relationship that we discovered earlier. So let's see if that happens. 0.86 times 0.22 will give me, um, hold on, I don't know that off the top of my head. 0.86 uh, times 0.22 gives me 0.1892 equals 0.288V2. We're gonna divide by 0.288, divide by 0.288, and we get 0.66, is a rounding, uh, liters. Our second volume is 0.66, so that, that match it. Volume was 0.220, now it's 0.66, it did go up, which is what we predicted, so we just proved Boyle's Law.